Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, if this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Mara. For those of you that have been here, hey y'all, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a product review on a brand that I actually used to use about six, seven, eight years ago. Now the brand is Caracare. I used to use them when I was relaxed and I actually did like their shampoo and conditioner because the conditioner just made me do a little something funny to your hair. But they actually have a natural hair line where they make gels. I've actually wanted to try these gels for so long because now I'm obsessed with gels, especially thicker gels because I know that it's gonna hold my hair. And they've obviously created four, but I was only able to get my hands on three, which is still fine, three out of four, that still works. Today I'm gonna be using all three gels on my hair and seeing which ones I like the best. Before we slide into this video, please be sure to give a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and we're gonna get right into this video. So if y'all don't know what the gels look like, this is it, You, like I said, you obviously do have three gels and it honestly reminds me of like a Starburst pack because they look like Starburst. The purple one starting off is for a super whole gel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a half up, half down style. I haven't done that in about a year, to be honest with you. I honestly haven't. So for the super whole gel, I'm going to put that in the back of my hair because I feel like that's where my hair needs the most hold. The moisturizing gel, I feel like this would go on the other side of my hair in the back. Um, to be honest with you, my whole head needs moisture because I did dye it recently. If you haven't seen that video, it actually went up on Tuesday. So just be sure to check it out. I will link it down in the description as well as in the ID card. And for the strengthening gel, this is going on my edges and in the front and on the top for my half up part. Okay. So I think I kind of know what gel I want to use on what side of my hair in the back. For my back right... I actually didn't want to use the super whole gel because this side actually has a little bit harder time defining itself and keeping that hole. This is what it looks like when you open it up. It's pink, but it's really thick. And that's what I like. That's what I like right here. We're gonna... Ooh. Wait. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. Oh, wow. That actually does feel moisturized. Huh. Okay. Alright. Huh. Okay. We gonna, we gonna go a step beyond. We gonna wet these roots. That water has been sitting here for probably about two weeks. I don't know. I wish they used that. Hey. Okay. Wow. When you wet your hair and you have this, it goes on so much easier. So far, this is what my curl is looking like. You see it has the hold. You see it has the definition. Even at the roots, it has the definition. So I'm kind of excited. So now that that left back section is done, we're gonna go in with the purple gel, which is the super whole gel. This is what this one looks like as well. I feel like this one is a little bit looser. So for this gel, it's not as thick. Oh my gosh, what? I feel like they smell the same kind of, but this one, it goes on smooth like the other one, but I feel like this one goes on smoother. So, this one, I feel like it's adding slip. The other one didn't. This one goes on just a tad bit smoother. I don't even know how that's possible. But this one, I honestly feel like this should be like a detangling gel. I don't even know if that makes sense. So this is the bottom half of, of both. As you can see, this is the purple stronghold gel. This is the moisturizing. This one does have obviously a better hold to it because you don't see as much frizz, whereas this one is a little bit more poofier. Okay. 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 Okay
I also forgot to add, I was thinking of this when I was editing, but all of the gels, they're formulated with like different oils. So I believe that one has extra virgin olive oil and the other has black Jamaican castor oil. And then there's a gel that has no added oils to it. And again, y'all, I purchased all of these on the Care Care website. So I feel like these were honestly the cheapest products I've ever tried from Care Care because they were only $4.99. So I'm back after quite a few hours. It's actually the next day. My hair is completely dry. And this is what it looks like now. This again was the moisturizing gel and it honestly does not feel too bad. It feels moisturized. It feels like there's a cream under my gel but it doesn't feel overly moisturized. Like it's greasy or anything like that. But it doesn't feel bone dry either. That makes sense. Honestly, I feel like both of them look the same. Just by looking at it, like from my perspective, it may look a little bit different on you guys' end. It honestly looks the same. It feels the same. Like this one feels exactly like this side. Like it, like there's a cream under my gel. Um, the only thing that I noticed that's different is that this side is a little bit more elongated as opposed to this side. So look at the difference. And I haven't stretched my hair either. This is just how it dried. I didn't put my hair up. I didn't do anything. I just tied the front of my head down. Okay, y'all, so I forgot to add about the top half. So it honestly did feel the exact same way as the bottom half. It literally felt the exact same. There's no difference. So if you are choosing between either gel, I honestly would recommend either because I feel like they're all the same. Like I said guys, I definitely do hope that you like this video. I do hope that you found it helpful in terms of if you wanted to try the Care Care collection. Honestly, personally, I feel like I would continue to use this because other gels, it does dry my hair out. So if you're somebody that is looking for a gel that's not drying to your hair, then this can definitely be an alternative because it does have the hold and it does have the moisture. The only thing that is lacking is the no frizz portion of it, but it definitely, as you can see, defines your curls. So on that note, I'm gonna give it in total as a whole. I would give it probably an 8.5 out of 10. My eco style is still in the lead because I like no frizz first and then a little bit of frizz later. So please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I will definitely see you in my next video.